Hey guys. <laughs> I can't stand it when people start these videos by saying, hey guys, but I just did. And I don't know how else to start these. So, hey guys. Um, I'm on the banks of the Westfield, the East Branch of the Westfield River here at Curly Willow. And we're gonna go around the property today to see what kinds of signs of life we can find. There's about, about a foot of snow fell here um, about a day ago, a day or two ago. The days are blurring together right now. Um, but there's lots of things that are popping up and we just wanted to take a walk around the property to see what we could find and I'm going to invite you to come along with us. Okay, so yesterday I tromped through here and there's lots of footprints, but there's still lots of signs of life. And if you followed me live yesterday on um, Facebook, I did a Facebook and, live. Um, one of the things I talked about or show, tried to show, but I got cut off because I have to do this on video because um, the cellular service isn't very good here. But one of the things I pointed out yesterday were all of these different, um, um, what the hell is it called? Like this, the outside of the bittersweet pod? I'd love to know what that's called. Anyways, here's what they're called. Oh, look, here's my kitty. Hi, great cat. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can switch this around. These are the remains of bittersweet um, that the birds that sat way up high in this pine tree eat and then either poop out or they fall down. Um, you can see. And what I discovered is, hey, great cat. What I discovered, this is my country cat. Hi. She makes sure all the country mice, um, the population stays pretty low, which is good. But anyways, when I was here, what I discovered with all these bittersweet pieces was there's this humongous bittersweet vine that's growing up this tree. And my understanding is there are two different species of bittersweet and one is invasive and one is not. And I'm not exactly sure which one this is. I'm guessing it's the invasive one. But um, in the winter, in spring, and uh, basically after the foliage is down from the trees, it's a good time to see where this um, invasive species is growing because uh, they have these gorgeous so, red Whatever berries. the story is with this bittersweet, it has made me very curious. So I can take something like this, finding that bittersweet growing um, on my property, and I can use it as an opportunity to learn. So I want to know more about what the berry is called, the parts of the berry, what the differences are of the different types of bitters bittersweet plants, the invasive species and the native species. I could even go online and I could research um, what Native Americans did with um, in, uh, native species of bittersweet, the different herbal properties that might have been used. So I can learn about the heritage, I can learn about the habitats they grow in, I can learn about um, different um, ways of protecting properties and conservation efforts. So getting curious is um, part of the learning here at Curly Willow. So that's really exciting. Okay, so now we're back at, I never know which way to look, there or there. That's where the camera is. Hi. I'm back at the river and um, I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, so yesterday when I was doing this live, I was showing folks where um, there was this really big tree. Oh gosh, look, there's lots of barberry here. Do you see that? Isn't this barberry with these um, prickers? Anyways, um, look at this. Do you see this? When the hurricane came through a few years ago, um, it ripped out this part of, there was a big tree that was right here, and it took it out, took the whole tree out. And when it did, the tree that was here was my daughter's, had my daughter's tree house in it. Took it away, right down the river. But she has since recovered. She's gone on to other things. Okay, so we are gonna go down to where the river, the Westfield River, the east branch of the Westfield River, and um, there's this brook that comes down, a mountain brook that comes down. They call, it, they call it a bunch of different things. They call it Stevenson's Brook. 
and Bronson's Brook. Um, you know, the town calls it one thing, you'll see it on maps as one thing, and then people who live here call it something else. So I've always called it Stevenson's Brook, um, and it meets up here. But I have to first walk through this jungle of knotweed, another invasive species. You can see it here, it just looks just like strands of bamboo. But in the summertime, it's thick, you can't even see through it, and it's so difficult to get rid of this stuff. Um, but again, it's another opportunity to learn about the value of an invasive species. Um, you definitely don't want it here. If it is here, what can you do with it other than get rid of it? Some folks are using the shoots and the roots for food or for medicine, saying that it's um, a remedy for Lyme disease. Not that's true, I don't know, but it's interesting to know. see but I love hanging out here um, it's great in the summertime nowhere else in the world would I want to be than right here I love it here what is that some sort of mushroom I love looking for different kinds of things I'm curious about it Mushroom is that? It's white. What I'd like to find is what's popping up right now. Colt's foot comes up down here. Not Japanese knotweed, of course. Oh look, look, it's like mushy. It's yellow. Look at this. That's so cool. So I can go back and do a quick search and learn what that is. What kind of, I'm assuming it's a mushroom. But there's life everywhere if you look closely, guys. Lots to learn here on the West Little River. Okay, so I've been a dork for enough today. But this is what I'd love to do is these little videos. It's not, um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I would love to share where I live. I'd love to share this beautiful land for people who are interested. If you're curious too, if you're curious too, I said that like a drunk woman. If you're curious too, um, let me know what you're curious about and let's see if we can explore that together and share with one another. Leave your, leave your comments. I've seen people do that on YouTube. Leave your comments. I, don't, I just wanna hear nothing bad. I know I'm stupid. I mean, I'm not like stupid, but I know this is silly. <laughs> but leave your comments and tell me what you're interested in. And um, let's see what we can find out and figure out together. I love to learn, I love to be curious, and I love to share and to um, hear what other people have to say too. So join me. Thanks guys, bye guys!